It's my very great pleasure to be here for the Hearts of Gold Lunch, celebrating and recognising, of course, the wonderful work and contributions that have been made to the Heart Foundation community. We all know why we're here, of course, to raise awareness and some vital funds. I just thought I was having a bit of an episode, but um, it turned out I was having a heart attack. Anything that you, that you think's out of the ordinary, go to the doctor, play it safe and get, get, a, get a checkup. 46% of people that have heart attacks don't make it. Heart disease continues to be the single biggest killer of Queenslanders. The Heart Foundation is touched daily by people who are affected and we know the ripple effect that it has on families, loved ones, community and on our health system. And these four awards we're presenting today are incredibly important as they provide the Heart Foundation with an opportunity to say two simple words. That's thank you. First award is our Heart of Gold Award. And this award goes to the John Villiers Trust. To date, the Trust has given grants to charitable projects in Queensland, totaling over $6.9 million. I'm sure if John were here today, he would be delighted that his Trust has supported this project and enabled better heart health for Queenslanders. And the award winner for our Heart Hero Award is Ruthie McGrath. I would like to think I'm passionate. It's something that I put my heart and my soul into. I make no apologies for it. It gives me hope and it gives me a purpose. Good things can come from tragic situations. Thank you. Our third award is the Innovation Award, Heart Sport. The Heart Foundation is, a, is so well recognised and accepted and supported in, in the general community throughout Australia. We look forward to being involved for many more years to come. And thanks again to Steve and his team. Thank you. And this year, our Researcher of the Year Award goes to Dr James Hudson. I'm very grateful um, for this award and I hope that the Heart Foundation, along with their donors and sponsors, can continue to provide this level of support. So I'm going to take you through a fairly short talk about hypertension. So there's close to 6 million Australians with hypertension. Probably a third of the people in this room have got hypertension. And of course the main problem with hypertension is that it's one of the most important risk factors for strokes, heart attacks, kidney disease and eye disease. That concludes our official part of the day. On behalf of the Heart Foundation, I'd like to thank you all for coming. Thank you so much and thank you for digging deep.